I mean, I've always believed everyone was capable of design. Uh, although I began studying architecture, I found my way to design because of my interest in the scale of the hand, the scale of the body, the scale of the interior. Dadon is actually the kind of application of ideas that have been very influential to my practice. Yeah, my source of inspiration for the past 15 years has been travel, pretty much. Only because I think, you know, when we consider design outside of a Western context, uh, in the majority world, there's still so much difference between cultures and how all of these different cultures think about design, think about craft, think about production, think about objects. Um, when we began working in the majority world context uh, with different cultures around the world, for example, um, and we recognized the kind of immediacy of making of these people and the application of hand techniques to the production of um, what I consider to be design, you know, we decided that we needed to work with like-minded companies. Coming from industrial design, it's really important to know how things are made, um, to, to understand the investment of industry in innovation. Uh, I think in the past, design was very much driven by innovation, um, whereas today maybe it's driven more by marketing or by images. And so in order to collaborate with industry, especially with hand techniques, we have to understand how things are made, but we also have to understand how the things we make impact uh, the culture that we're working with. And having the opportunity with Dadon to go into the factory and exhibit a workshop-based practice, working directly with the artisans and really getting our hands closer to the act of making um, creates all the room we need for innovation. This to me feels very uh, luxurious, I suppose. Luxury in the 21st century has to be about access. It's not just uh, a question of a richness of materials, which can be very extractive and damaging, right, to not just the planet, but society. Um, it's not just about branding and kind of labels and logos everywhere, um, but it's about having the freedom of time having the freedom of access, having the freedom of, of uh, knowledge, right? I mean, these things are, are luxury, I think, in the future.